All right, everybody. Hello, this is Dr. Tess Vaughn again, and this is part three of our series on what in the world is a core, right? We hear about it all the time, but what is it? So first video, we talked about the diaphragm that sits up high. It is the ceiling or the top of the core. Second video, we talked about the pelvic floor muscles that look like a sling or a hammock. They are at the bottom of the core. And now we're going to talk about what's in between. Okay. So those muscles are called the transverse abdominis. They sit horizontal this way and they work their way up. They're one of the deepest layers or the deepest layer of the abdominal muscles. The six pack ab, the rectus, lays on top of it this way. Transverse goes this way, right? They're deep and they look like this in the actual pelvis. Right? The next muscle that we'll talk about is the multipedis. These are tiny muscles that connect vertebrae to vertebrae. So one to two levels, they'll bite, overlap and work them where, their way up. They'll start at the sacrum down low and they'll go all the way up to the cervical spine on the backside. All right, so the interaction between the transverse abdominis, these, and the multipedis, those small ones in the back, almost create like a back brace, all right, or corset for your spine. And their goal is to turn on and protect the spine before the big muscles bend you over, lift you up, lift an arm up, those transverse and multipedis are firing right away, all right? They actually work on what's called a feed forward response. And what that means is if I get a message or send a message to my brain that I need to pick up that pencil that fell on the floor, before I even get there, those muscles have already gotten the message from the brain through the nerves and made those muscles turn on to protect me and my spine before I bend over and get that pencil, okay? They also work on a demand, meaning I'm not gonna turn on those muscles the same if I was picking up a pencil as if I was picking up a 50 pound bag of dog food, right? So they are gonna turn on and work based on the need that has to happen, the load and the heaviness of what I'm doing, okay? Same thing happens with the pelvic floor muscles. They work on a demand. They're not all on or all off. It depends on what they need to do. Now, the other cool thing about these muscles is those, the transverse abdominis and the multifidus, fire with the pelvic floor. All happens together. And the most efficient way that they turn on and work together is on the exhale, which we talked a little bit before, and I'll talk more the next time. All right, of how to put it all together. But this is just what is make, what makes up the core. Okay, now to know if your transverse abdominus is firing, because sometimes what happens, pregnancy, chronic pain, back pain, surgeries in the abdominal area or in the spine can make those muscles kind of shut down and they forget what they're supposed to do. So the point of therapy, physical therapy, is to come in and try to retrain those muscles so they know what they're doing again, all right? Okay, so the other thing to think about is with that transverse abdominus, you wanna know if you can fire it, right? You want to, if you can turn it on automatically. So the best way to do this is actually laying down on the floor. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like here standing, but you'll feel it more if you're laying down in a relaxed position. So just take your two fingers. You're gonna find these front hip bones so right on the bone. You're gonna come in just a little bit to where it's soft, but don't press in, right? You're just lightly on the skin. Now what I want you to think about keeping your pelvis still is just visualize taking your belly button to your spine, okay? Now when you do that, you don't wanna tilt your pelvis you don't want to blow out your belly. You really are just thinking about taking that belly button down towards your spine. What you should feel under those fingers is just a little bit of a whisper of that muscle hitting your finger. It's tiny, very subtle, which is why you don't want to press hard on it. So you take the belly button to spine, you feel those muscles contract up under your finger. That way you know you're getting that transverse. You're gonna get some other things, but that is in general what you're feeling for, okay? All right, the other thing to think about with that is you want it to be as subtle as it can, and it should feel like it's just kind of going and tightening up across here. 
not bulging your belly out. It's just a tightening and a lengthening of the muscle as it comes across that way. Got it? All right, so that's how you find it. That's how you turn it on. The multifidus will turn on with it. It will also turn on with the pelvic floor. And the best way to make all of that work is on the exhale, where it automatically fires together because of the nerve innervation. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you.